We are given a cylinder on which a thread is wound and x length of the thread is hanging down. It is given that the total length of the thread is L of which the x part is hanging down. The thread is wound in a single layer. So single layer means there is no overlap. So all the rope is at a distance r from the center. Find the angular acceleration of the cylinder as a function of length x of the hanging part of the cord. So when the x part is hanging, let's calculate what will be the force due to that. And that is the force that's going to turn the cylinder. So what is the mass of that part which is hanging? So by unitary method, that will be x upon total length of the thread times m. And the mass of the rest of the thread which is wound on the cylinder that will be L minus x by L into m. Now as we have done in the previous problems, we are going to just take this whole mass and stick it here. So we get rid of the tension here which is an internal force. And now we can, so that's what we have written here, stick hanging mass on pulley to get alpha as T is now internal force. So now we are going to, because we need, find, we need to find alpha, let's uh, calculate torque with respect to O. So tau is equal to I naught alpha. So torque will be X by L mgr. I naught will be due to this mass, due to the mass of the rope on the periphery and I of the cylinder itself. So mR square by 2 plus L minus X by L mR square plus this. So from here, we get the value of alpha, which is what we wanted. All right. 